Here again, are you uh, more prepared this time than last year? Um, you can only really be as prepared as um, you know you are, and I think coming off last year, it's a little bit more exciting. And um, being the underdogs, I think that's an exciting feeling. Last year hurt. Did you still think about that one got away. Um, oh, it plays on your mind a little bit, but not really. Like it's a new year, and everyone's got a new side and bringing more strength to the to the table. And I think you know, like. It, you can dwell on last year, but there's no point in doing that. Yeah, they could potentially be without their captain, just waiting for a review. I think that'd be a pretty big loss, and they probably will put you guys, I'll uh, give you enough hand. Yeah, no, it is a big loss, but um, you watch their last couple of games where she didn't play, and they were pretty exciting still. And I think maybe they're a little bit more exciting, you know, when they're not in there, when she's not in there. But um, you know, like we'll just focus on our game, and if she plays, um, she plays. If she doesn't, she doesn't. You had a former teammate say that it might not have been the most professional joint to be around the Brisbane Lions at the start of the year. Uh, you've just made your second grand final in a row. Probably been proven right and she's been proven wrong, would you think? Um, oh, I don't really like commenting on that. Everyone keeps asking me that and saying all that stuff, but that's in the past. Um, you know, she's having fun down there and that's all yep. that matters and we're having fun up here and, yeah, hopefully we can um, take out the granny this week. It is a great endorsement for the program, though, second grand final in a row. It shows you guys are doing something right. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it was up in the air at the start of the year having 13 new girls join the squad, but everyone's fitted in really nicely and it's been um, a hell of a ride this year and, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The boys going to get behind you on Sunday? Oh, I hope so. Um, they're playing, I think, Saturday as well and we've already got a few messages of support and, um, you know, they tweeted a few things as well, which is really nice to see. Um, it's nice to feel like we're one club and um, it definitely feels like that at the Brisbane Lions. Take us through that moment yesterday. We've seen the video, it was fantastic, pretty wild scenes. But when did you know? When did you know? Oh, hang on, we're actually through. We've had three results go our way and we're back. Yeah, it was a tale of two halves, actually. Um, we watched the first half and I was like feeling a little bit down and, you know. Um, but then the second half, and I think um, Trosser had the ball. I think, I don't know if it was in the last quarter, but she kicked the goal and they were two goals ahead, and that's when you knew, like, I think we're going to make the grand final and everyone started to get really excited, you know, hearts were pumping, everyone was jumping around and um, that was a really nice feeling actually. And how about for you, you're playing a couple of your VFLW teammates, a fair few actually play for the Western Bulldogs, how do you feel coming up against them? Yeah, it's actually funny, um, most of um, Melbourne Uni got drafted to, to the Western Bulldogs and um, it's nice to know that I know their strengths and weaknesses, so hopefully I can bring that into the training this week and um, we can have a review about that, but no, it's exciting to make that FL Women Grand Final and obviously play against them. You probably put your best like attacking game together since the, the inception of the comp in two years on the, on Friday night. What does that do for your confidence? Yeah, no, um, the, the start of the game on Friday night was amazing to be a part of and it was really exciting and girls were really, really pumped about it and actually to hit the scoreboard and have scoreboard pressure is exactly what we want coming into this weekend. Without yeah. wanting to dwell on Taylor too much, how do you think the forward line and the attacking systems have developed without that sort of focal point that you had there last year? Yeah, I think it's really exciting this year. Um, we're able to hit up um, the small forwards as well as um, obviously Sabs and Bella, because um, Bella's stepped into Taylor's role, but you know, um, we do miss obviously Taylor every now and then, but you know, we need to look at our strengths this time, and I think our small forwards like Jess Wushner is, is having a phenomenal season, and um, hopefully she can bring that form into this weekend.